Man gets hit by car, dies. The year is 2061, and in exactly one second, this man will be hit by a car and killed to death. One second until collision. He turns his head and spots the car. It is only three meters away from colliding into him. Fuck he thinks to himself. That car is only three meters away from colliding into me. The man reaches into the pocket of his coat and pulls out a sandwich that was made for him by his wife. He notices that the bread is too thick for his liking and can hardly be described as a sandwich at all. It's more of a travesty. My last meal, he chuckles in his mind. He places the sandwich on the floor and puts his wedding ring on top of it. The driver and passengers of the car do not see him. They are too busy frantically rehearsing for the premiere of Cameron Dodds's String Quartet No. 1. Eight seconds until collision. Oh, and thus the good fortunes of my life run amok, for I am about to be well and truly smote. Or is it smited? The man always had a little trouble with semantics, a problem that frequently drove his friends to drink and even contributed to the dissolution of his first marriage. Meanwhile, in the car, the cellist of the quartet, who happens to be a red sock, recites a famous poem by the 19th century French author Desmond Codard. One, two, whoa, three, four, watches me bleed collar both from my wings and the vein you plucked. Five, six, from the heart you once painted. Seven, eight, onto stained glass windows. The man always wanted to be an artist. He paints his first ever painting, a self-portrait his magnum opus. The quartets rehearse the second movement of Cameron Dodds's string quartet number one. Point six seconds until collision. As the quartet move into the presto movement of Cameron Dodds's string quartet number one, 
the man's face saddens. He is still in his work clothes. Oh, to die in my business suit would be a fitting end to this boring life, he muses. The car is now only two metres away from colliding with him. He hears a voice. God? No, it's the stripy sock, the violist in the quartet. She is laughing to herself whilst playing. The man puts down his suitcase, opens it, and dons the clothes that he wishes to die in. Man gets hit by car, dies, will continue after the break. Will the audience please stand and think about singing the national anthem? Nought point four seconds until collision. Ha 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 ha. Who would even come to my funeral? My wife? No, she can't tear herself away from that lefty prick. The composer. What was his name? Dodds. Yes, that's it. The home wrecking ass. The man becomes sad again. He looks at his feet. They've shrunk in the last 0.6 seconds, a common side effect of one's impending doom. He begins to build himself a small shrine out of rocks he has found on the side of the road. He kisses each rock goodbye. The first violinist, a pink sock, coincidentally sings the man's favorite song, before leading the fourth movement of Cameron Dodds's string quartet number one. Point two seconds until collision. The man used to play trombone in his primary school wind band. He wishes he could still play. 
It was the only activity in his life that gave him any real pleasure. Sex was a chore. Eating gave him indigestion, and he found being amused tedious. He picks up his imaginary trombone and imagines that he is playing it. A song is on the car radio. He can't hear it. The second violinist scrambles to turn it off, but the radio control panel is broken. He is already in heaven. He feels happy. The string quartet are playing the final movement of Cameron Dodds' string quartet number one. 